Hey YouTube, we're React Packs and I'm Kirk. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is My Hero Academia, Early Bird. So, last time we had the conclusion of match three, which was a spectacular match. I think most people agree that was the best match so far. Yeah. And now we're going to probably going to a bombastic episode given that we got back ago. Back yeah. Ago. What do you guys expect? Um, Explosions! <laughs> yeah. I I was thinking about it more. I honestly don't know if I can expect Bakugo to win. Just simply because of how bulldozer he's, he's being. Mm -hmm. And he's not working with his team. I thought the same thing with Tetsu Tetsu, but it worked out pretty well. So I'm wondering... Well, it seems like they're used to working around him. True. But does... what My question is, does this Class B team have anyone who can st um, form themselves as a wall to stop him. Mm -hmm. Bakugo has shown that he can blow through any defense unless yeah. this person is like tailor-made to be a stopper. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, we don't really know anybody from this team. Well guys, we'll see you in discussion. But remember, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And also check the Patreon for the description. I mean, check the description for the Patreon. <laughs> and it has instructions along with it in addition to extra prizes for our first 10 and then 40 sub uh, patrons. See you in discussion. Okay, they're already in. Already going. Oh, I like Sir. Yeah, Mr. Tape. He's never shown a limit to his tape. Yeah. This is his version of cooperation. <laughs> this Cooperate is pretty, with me. pretty good cooperation. <laughs> Cooperate with me. I, th I thought she her, it plugged in. Yeah. Now it's just touching. They're there to make noise. Yeah. Found it. Ew. Okay, I guess. Oh, oh that's what that is. Tail slitter. Oh, so it's like her entire body's a tail. Yeah. Ew. I knew it was some kind of emitter. Glue versus tape. Which one's more effective? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Leonardo with his swords. He literally is a ninja. <laughs> And the other guy has oh. swords as well. Oh wow. Are, oh, oh. he's just cutting it all. Whoa. What are they related? Did you have enough sugar before you came in? This guy. Okay. Without making a sound. Construction. Oh, this guy. Remember? He can weld you to oh, things. Oh, no! Oh. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> he broke off his gauntlet. He had to. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> they're so mad about it. <laughs> Cool. Oh, right, she amplifies her heartbeat. There goes his eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Uh, oh, because it's winter. That's right, I keep forgetting. Yeah. Just straight that guy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> plan anyway! Suck <laughs> it! Because it was a school yeah. festival. Uh oh, oh cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, she escaped though. Oh, right oh into it. well. <laughs> oh, that's still bonded to him. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's bleeding out of it. <laughs> oh, four. Okay, so it's a queen scene. Oh, Bakugo always finds a way to delightfully, uh, what is it, circumvent his his archetype. It's <laughs> 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 like all the way over there. <laughs> I mean, Midoriya is like their back. Yeah. How are you gonna use it? Size. Which one? Whose name was that? Somebody's quirk was size. Take that off. <laughs> there's, okay. There's such sidekicks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, acid girl actually, not really, but... Especially if they make her float, like, over, and she can just, like, spread acid yeah. everywhere. <laughs> he looks so sad! <laughs> Look at the Let's go. Let's go. 
It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. All right. Check for after credits. Discussion. Discussion. Okay, so let's start with that fight with Bakugo. Yes. So it, so I feel good. like I had this this thought that this would either be a clean sweep or it would be he would just be out, you know. Mm-hmm. But they What's, really w- went in on like he <laughs> took them out in five yes. minutes. Yes. Five minutes. Gosh. Less than five. He said it didn't. Less Not than even five, five minutes. Less than five. Yeah, the thing is about these teams is everyone's kind of around the same tier level. Mm-hmm. I know we saw like Fukugami was a little bit better than everyone else on his team. Mm-hmm. Like, there's the heavy hitters and another heavy hitter is Bakugo and I think he showed that he's on that level of being ahead of everyone like Fukugami is mm-hmm. but plus a little bit more. He's really pushing it. Mm-hmm. He has high mobility extreme power and explosive. Mm-hmm. I think those are just two things that make yeah. someone extremely strong in this universe. And he's both close combat and long, long distance. distance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd say more like medium range. I don't know if he can do long, long distance. Like Midoriya mm-hmm. can do long, long distance with his kicks. Like he can, a football yard away and hit him. Yeah. But his explosions. Uh, his his power is always weird to me because I feel like he just easily accidentally kill villains. <laughs> oh, back <laughs> Yeah. Like when he strafed the glue guy. Just <laughs> like, yeah. Are you killing that guy? <laughs> I don't I'm, uh, I don't. I don't know how to gauge his his firepower because yeah. on one hand he destroys buildings, on another mm-hmm. hand he can like blow you up like to your face and, and you're fine. fine. Yeah. I, th- I think it's just one of those things we're supposed to take as you know creative liberty. Yeah. Because yeah, he his uh, they they said his chemicals he produces is like nitroglycerin, mm-hmm. which is extremely dangerous in small quantities. He makes grenades out of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can kill somebody, but it just doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't. Yeah. Anything. Um, uh, uh, Lizardy. I think I, I cut you off. No, reason. no. Oh, okay, good. Lizardy mm-hmm. was a weird power, but okay. Yeah, because you know how lizards, you know, if you grab a lizard by their tail, they'll detach their tail, mm-hmm. and the tail will start wriggling, so that yeah. as if to make the predator think that you're still there or something, or confuse them. Mm-hmm. So your entire body becomes that tail part. That just is... the ho- there's just the tail. <laughs> just the, that's yeah. Did she do anything else? Like have any other power as, apart from splitting herself up? And making noise. No. Is he? N- no. I don't think so. Did she? No. It's just pretty much splitting herself up. But so she, she can, also. Oh yeah, she can she move. She used her hands. Yeah. She can move them, and, and she, she uses them to. Yeah, she uses the body parts to grab back girl and pull them away from everybody else. Mm. But other than that, no. She was kind of playing. Um, they set up a. The problem with their team is they set up a plan. And, and they, they stuck with it too too much. They had no neither no, no backup. backup plan and they had no individual agency. Hmm. Don't Nobody know. individually could really do much against any of the powers they had. Yeah. Like, Jiro was reconnaissance. They couldn't really get to Jiro because Bakugo. So their plan went out of the window because now it's take out Bakugo, but no one individually can take out Bakugo. Mm. Yeah. So th- they were doomed from the start. Mm. I think they, they, had a, they had a good shot at it when the welding guy yeah, put I was, him I was down. About to say that. Yeah. And it looked like, like you pointed out, that the thing in his back like was bleeding. It may have been his suit. Maybe it was his suit. Was that right. part of his suit? That thing sticking out? It was. It was making that color when it was attached to his um, grenade arm things too. Oh. So I think that's just the look of his power. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the well guy, yeah, I, I do think had the best chance of beating Bakugo. Yeah. Because as soon as he got close, he'd either throw them at you, and he'd grab them. But if that guy works more with the guy who could slice things up, mm-hmm. I think they could make something happen. Totally. Because yeah. the guy could cut through the buildings, the Ninja Turtle looking guy. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they separated, they had nothing to deal with Bakugo anymore. Yeah. yeah. Because Bakugo needed help, where they use the sound waves to take out Welder. Mm-hmm. So I think Weld guy is actually pretty up there, but they needed more teamwork. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's just as simple as they said, where there's nothing they could do. They, they maybe could have been something they could do. Yeah, I think their, their weakness was that, like, Team B... Um, individually went after Bakugo, whereas um, Class A were a whole team doing the th- whole thing yeah. together. It was a team assault versus everybody was getting picked off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think, like the teacher said, too, it was they were too rigid in their plans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Totally. Anything else? Um, I, right, I mentioned this in the reaction. I love how Bakugo con- constantly subverts his, like, his, his archetype mm-hmm. of like being the the bulldozer who 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 doesn't think he just punches, but the thing is he's every single time you see him, he is 
thinking of how to improve yeah thinking of the most efficient way to do something Mm -hmm. and even though it looks like really what is like i guess bombastic yeah what he does when they look at um the result like what's his name like Eraserhead said there there wasn't too much damage you did just Mm -hmm. enough Mm -hmm. and i think they he said something like that before in a training camp where it was like oh actually nobody was really hurt that bad <laughs> or during his um his fights i think yeah um, we've seen that all the way back to the tournament arc yeah where the very first tournament arc when he was going up against todoroki and todoroki kind of gave up mm-hmm. um remember he attacked todoroki with this tornado twister thingy mm-hmm. which nobody because the whole issue with that was todoroki could make that ice wall mm-hmm. and no one could really deal with the ice wall mm-hmm. so they thought he would just you know try to shoot it and Eventually, Todoroki would get overwhelmed, or vice versa. Mm. But no, he invented a tornado twister thing where he dive bombs on you from the air. Yeah. So he always comes up with these things. New that, things. New yeah. things. Where, he, okay, so he's a guy who attacks head on, he attacks a tornado twister. Yeah. J- just like you yeah. said to Deku at the end there, like, I'm moving forward. And he's progressing, basically. Mm. Yeah. And he's making himself better and better. Right down to his catchphrase. He yeah. always says, I'm going to kill you. He doesn't kill you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Mm. And even when he was fighting, what's his name? Her, her name? Uraraka. Um, during the tournament, um, he respected her fight, even though like it was obvious that she couldn't beat him. Mm-hmm. Remember, she used all of the rocks and stuff that he had broken to go up against um, him. And she she gave her best, and he acknowledged that by yeah. actually fighting her. Yeah, like, he, 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 he didn't, didn't pull his punches. Her. Yeah, yeah, he he gave it his he gave it his best. Yeah. But uh, how do you think of the class A's performance individually? I think it's, it's, it's actually hard to rate them individually because they were mm-hmm. essentially, Bakugo came in, said, do what I say, and they did it. So it's more of a, how do you rate Bakugo? It's not really <laughs> how do you rate them individually. It was mostly Bakugo. Yeah. But the heartbeat sensor trick against Welder, mm-hmm. good stuff. Mm-hmm. That was cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I liked uh, Sugar Rush guy. Mm-hmm. Um, he is... I, I don't remember seeing him fight too much. I, I'm, sure, no. I'm sure he has, but I, I, I don't really remember oh, his fights. Oh, in this match forever. Ever. Oh. <laughs> um, I, I know he has, but I just he's not like one of those memorable characters for me. Mm-hmm. So yeah. um, it was nice to see he came to the rescue for Bakugo. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think some other scene, too, that I've already forgotten. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I liked his... his we got glue trap by. Oh yeah, he got rid of the glue trap that was going to fall on them. Mm. Um, definitely Jiro showed, showed up and showed out and Tate Man, I was I really liked yeah. liked his uh, his action. Like I, mm-hmm. I really like his his power, mm-hmm. his, the whole Tate thing. And he can. I remember in one of the, I forget like one of the training things. They were racing to get across somewhere, oh, yeah. and he was like ahead because yeah, he was like racing fast. on top of his tape. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. Yes, to see. Midori was second place to him in speed. Right. Yeah. Right. So I, I I really I think that's that's my take on on mm-hmm. all of their 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 experiences. Yeah. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. Jiro is very support. I can't think of how she would be, like, like on her sense. own front line hero she type can. thing. She's a she's a spy. Yeah, yeah. she's Stealth. eraser head, but with a little less utility. Yeah, I, I I think which not really her fault, but she's she was never really just even despite the whole tapping everywhere and distraction noise, mm-hmm. she still came in handy. Yeah. So n- she was never really super on the back foot. Mm. So other than that, I think she has a role of being a sensory, being a uh, reconnaissance, and she does it well. Mm. There's really nothing else to say, I don't think. Yeah, yeah same. Uh, everything else? Uh, I didn't write how much it The complete victory thing that Bakugo was like, I will accept nothing less than 4-0. Yeah. And that was funny. And as soon as he said that, I'm like, is he actually going to do it? Because they seem so confident mm-hmm. in like their plan and everything. I wonder where that comes from. Where does Bakugo's sense of destiny come from? Yeah. Because ever since he was a kid, people were praising him. So it could easily just be, I'm a special kid mm-hmm. kind of thing. But I do feel like he genuinely pushes himself to the limit for maybe he sees something or mm. maybe he wants something. Yeah. Because if you look at everybody here, he has no right to be this good. Yeah. He worked his butt off and became this good. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have the genes of Endeavor no. or the training of Midoriya from All Might himself. Mm. He just, through pure hard work, made himself one of the most dangerous people on the yeah. campus. Even though he is, his power is super destructive. Yeah. And he just fully embraced that too, even though he... he People are like, are you sure you're a hero? Mm-hmm. Constantly. Yeah, I, I feel like um, he he kind of has a chip on his shoulder, especially the way 
um, that he he kind of I don't know deals with Deku mm-hmm. like his his whole problem with Deku is I I don't even understand it fully but like just the fact that Deku is always like trying to be like All Might and he's like you don't even have a quirk or back when you didn't have a quirk mm-hmm. and um it's like he he's always had a chip on his shoulder that he has a problem that kind of is emphasized whenever he's around Deku and I think mm-hmm. that's why he's always upset with him or or kind of lashes out at him and I think it is whatever that is in his upbringing that has driven him the way he's driven now mm-hmm. I think he he really is driven from the inside and for whatever reason uh, maybe they'll they'll explore it later on I think they will of course yeah it's not quite resolved whatever no it is. whatever yeah. it is we get glimpses pieces mm-hmm. of it like when we saw where he was really broken up about being the one that got All Might injured yeah so he clearly loves All Might and maybe a part of that he doesn't like Deku because he ch- De- All Might chose Deku mm-hmm. but even well back, he hated him before that well yeah but but I'm, I'm just saying like maybe a piece of that we saw a glimpse of mm-hmm. he cares that much about All Might mm-hmm. but we know that he even refuses All Might's help yeah. remember that one time in the early seasons where All, All Might was trying to kind of mentor him and it's mm-hmm. like I don't want it I'm, I'm going to take first place on my own mm-hmm. yeah so maybe he sees himself as a successor to All Might mm-hmm. without, but doesn't want the help I don't <laughs> know yeah some, like I said some sort of chip on his shoulder he's complicated but what do you guys think of this next match that's coming oh I, I have my words to say about that go ahead go ahead Oh, you can go first. Okay. Um, because I was looking at it, and I don't think either team necessarily has a great composition. No. I think Deku's team's composition is not good. Hmm. Grape Rush is a... They're all good supporting roles, every single one of them. Yeah. But they don't really have... A, we just saw with Banco's team, he had the perfect team. Mm-hmm. He had the tank with, great, with the Sugar Rush. Mm-hmm. He had the Sensory with Jiro. Mm-hmm. He had... Bakugo to be speed, maneuverability, power, yeah. the, the heavy hitter, yeah. and, and, and I forget the last guy. Tape. <laughs> tape. 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 Tape to be highly maneuverable, keep up over. Perfect team. Yeah. But now with this team, your Ravity, she's not the best fighter. Mm. Maybe she's changed something around. Maybe she's gotten a little better. She can be a good fighter because remember she can put things in the sky. Yeah. But Acid Girl, she can move around kind of quickly. Great brush is great brush. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's... I think it's going to be a situation where they have to rely on Deku even more than Bakugo had to have his team rely on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's that's kind of basically what I was thinking. Um, they're, I don't think they're that great of a team, but it could be that they're going to work off that and they're going to be like underdogs in the start. Like they've been doing that for class A for yeah. like the last yeah, three <laughs> matches, like always the underdog. But um, this this time I, I think they really are deserving deserving of being underdogs because they're not that great of a team and I, I don't really have high hopes and I really think it's going to depend on Meteoria but oh. they're already going to attack Meteoria first that's their plan yeah. we already know mm-hmm. um, so we have to see this. maybe this is just going to be a show off for Deku for him to show off how good he is mm-hmm. and show off um, that he can actually take this team down mm-hmm. with even a handicap of a team Yeah, I think it's going to be very close in that I just... I mean, I don't know the powers of the Class B guys. Right. So I could just be this. Could, I could be heavy little wrong on this, but I get the feeling that given the Class B says their team comp is like the last team comp, mm. I get the feeling that they're also going to be kind of mediocre in that they don't really have great powers, and as a result, they're going to maybe get a little edge in Class A, yeah. and it's going to come down to Monoma and Shinzo, mm. and it's going to be Shinzo doing his best. There is, it's. I think it's really just going to come down to take out Midoriya, yeah. and I think the smaller guys are going to take each other out. It's mm-hmm. going to come down to Shindo versus Minoria plus Monoma, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely Shindo and Midoriya because that's like the, the highlight the of this, this yeah. season. Yeah. I mean, you've seen in the intro is the mm-hmm. Shindo yeah. and Midoriya right there. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I was just thinking, what? They've got to have something because what do they have to knock out Midoriya? It seems like the one of the girl's powers is Poltergeist, the person who said spooky. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming she does everything a, sp- a Poltergeist does. Is that she just like walks through stuff and is spooky. <laughs> <laughs> so unhittable. But yeah. I, I'm really curious to see what happens if Monotama touches Deku. Deku, yeah. Mm. He noticed what he said. He he's he's he not sure he might blank. Yeah. That's that's when he can't actually copy someone's power. Yeah. So I uh, it might yeah, you, it's very interesting what will happen cuz his quirk is so different. Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm talking like genetically he doesn't have a quirk. Exactly. Yeah. So what if his quirk targets the genetics and he gets nothing? And nothing. Yeah. That's, that's what I've been thinking for a while is how crazy would it be if it comes down to he gets him and it doesn't do anything? But yeah. And also, 
The guy has brain damage. Yeah, he does. <laughs> totally, one hundred percent. We were talking about it. The, it. He was not this insane when we first met him. No, he well, got he worse. Got, he, he did get worse. He, he was, was weird. In, he was a bit like obnoxious. <laughs> Class. Yeah, yeah. He was obnoxious. Yeah, he was obnoxious. But, but he's. But the guy's twitching and screaming randomly. <laughs> you can barely hear him like coherently. She's hit him too many times. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But what is your bet for how long this fight will be? Do you think it'll be one episode? Two episodes. Two? Oh, I thought you meant like in time. I was going to say it was going to come down to the wire. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah well, but I, I just mean like overall episodes that they're going to stretch this over. Yeah, they started it with this one to get the introductions out of the way. Next yeah. episode is going to be Class C on the back foot. And then next episode after that, Class B gets hit back. And by the end of it, it's going to come down to 1v1, I think. Hmm. That would make sense. And they could probably pull that off. It's going to look like All Might versus Eraserhead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if you're going to see a little emotion out of Eraserhead because that's his student. We didn't really see anything out of him last fight, but... Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why he took him out of Eraserhead. Maybe he saw something, you know? In the end, though, I think for sure Shinzo is going to is going to dis- put on a display that definitely um, solidifies him into his chances of being a hero. Yeah. I think he'll definitely come into the hero hero class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I fans like him for that. Yeah, fans like him, and and I think he, he's a cool character, and I think they developed him to the point where it would make sense to bring him into the main main group. Mm. Mm. Do we have anything else? No. Because Beyonce is super hot, and I want to turn the AC on. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much for being here, and thank you for watching the discussion. We'll catch you guys next week when we see the epic, con- not epic conclusion, epic beginning of the epic conclusion to the epic <laughs> season. <laughs> nice. So thank you guys for being here. We'll catch you guys next time React Pact. Check the description for social, and please check out the Patreon for all the episodes a week ahead of the shows that we watch. Catch you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye. Thank you much, John, Helzia, Sierra, Pichu, for being our patrons. Bye.